Hey guys, how you doing? Give a loser here, and I'm gonna play out the next part of Exito we're gonna be learning in this video, and let's get started. <laughs> part that I played I'm not obviously gonna do in one video I'm gonna break it in half so we're gonna learn the solo part and the little this little rhythmic part because the next will get a little bit confusing and I'm still thinking how to break it down so I hope you're enjoying the lesson guys so far here we go for the next part thank you for your support once again I keep on reading your comments and it just makes me more happy and happy to give out and share what I'm doing here because I don't know if this is a new thing but I personally really love it all right so let's get started remember the guitar is dropped a half a tone as we talked about in the first lesson and you want to put your ring finger on the third fret on the first string and then move on the first fret on the first string then go open shape an A minor chord I hope you can see what I'm pressing here and you can just slide up now I think in the video where I played I went I went down, but I think I'm going to change it. I like up. So we have so far. And we're going to do the same thing with the melody. But this time shape an E major. Then we do the same thing again, but we're going to have a little bit of a walk. Let's break that slowly. We did as before. First string, third fret, first string. 3rd fret, 1st fret, open, now 2nd string, 3rd fret, 2nd string again, 1st fret, open, now 3rd string, 2nd fret, press down again on the 1st fret of the 2nd string, then we shape the F chord, it's like holding an E. E major up here with this three fingers, slide them down, put your bar on, and I pluck with my thumb here. My fingers are already stuck inside the chord, inside the three strings, the uh, third, the second, and the first, index, middle, and ring. And I roll out, but on the last one, instead of rolling it away, I roll it and touch the second string, so I have... What happens if I continue moving the whole hand up? It will have a very nice harp effect. So, yes, and then to finish it up, we we'll put again here on the first string, third fret, first fret, now open string, hammer on pull off. So, I'm going with one play only of the right hand, hammer on pull off. Second string again, third fret. Up to the first, now the E, well it's a D sharp, but the E by itself. Then shape an E major chord and pluck with your thumb the top bass, with your middle the second string, with your ring the first string finish it up. Let's play one time slowly together and then we'll go to the fun part where the strumming comes in and the variation. So here we go. E major. We're gonna go now a little bit run. F roll harp. Together the three. And we can mute the strings to be quiet. We shape now an A minor chord, yes, but we're going to lift up the index and 
with your right hand in fix, you're going to pluck uh, the third string, then with your middle, the second string. One more time with your middle of your right hand, pick the second string but put down your index to shape the A minor again. That's on the first fret of the second string. So we have a little bit of a melody there. Then using the thumb on the middle bass with the index on the third string, we're going to pluck together. So let's practice that. but it's actually a quadruple effect. Thumb, thumb, index, thumb, 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 index, thumb. And then I do what is called a hit. Now, you can just go up, down with the index here to finish it easy. time to explain but it's going to be very useful because we're going to be using very similar things here so we have I'll do it one more time a little bit slower so we put the whole pattern together now we're going to go one more time change to an E major and this time the top bass with again the third string. What we did there and we plucked these two strings together and we did again up down with the index so now the index will go down and then a quadruple hit. Index up down. So it's very similar to the previous one, but it has a little bit of oomph to it. Then the next part we have go back to the e minor, A minor, lift up the index. We're going to do the same thing again, but this time the middle finger goes to the 3rd string on the 2nd fret, the ring finger goes on the 3rd fret on the 4th uh, string, and we're going to pluck with the thumb the 4th string, that's the last bass, index on the 3rd string, middle on the 2nd string, ring finger on the 3rd string. And we're going to do very similar as before. And this time we're going to put down the pinky on the second string on the third fret and we're gonna do as the previous pattern index down tra. index roll up up down same thing, nothing higher here. Shape an F chord. I think we know so far. And then I have what we call the harp effect. Middle, index, middle, index. Great 
example, how do I tap exactly these things and how do I write down the speed? I'm not exactly uh, a studied musician. <laughs> I'm a self-taught musician, so it makes it very hard for me to know exactly how to write the math on these things. And I had an email from one of you that says, hey, Alex, I tapped your lesson. And I'm like, I hope you don't mind. I'm like, I don't mind at all. Please do, and then I can provide it here as a download link for everybody to share. The only reason is because I don't really have possessed the knowledge to do it as fast as anyone could. So thank you for your help. Please keep on tapping my music. I love it. So let's do that one last time. <laughs> Thank you once again for watching. God bless.